Hello, I'm Nick, and welcome to Technology. Today we'll be overclocking graphics cards. So firstly you're going to need two pieces of software. MSI's Afterburner, which does the overclocking, and Unigen's Heaven Benchmark Tests, which does benchmarking. I've put the download links in the description below. So once you've downloaded and installed the two programs, open up MSI Afterburner and it should look something like this. This is its default skin. There are many more different skins it comes with and aftermarket ones you can install, but this is the standard one it should look like when you first open it up. Firstly what we're going to do, increase the power limit to its maximum. So whatever your graphics card allows, mine allows up to 106%. Yours may be different. I'm using the GTX 780 Ti. Next we're going to look at the core clock and memory clocks. Firstly we'll start with the core clock and we're going to just change the core clock for now. The reason we do this is if there are any issues we know it's the core clock and we need to dial that back down. So what I recommend is going up in small increments, maybe 10 MHz at a time. Apply settings and you can save the profile so just click save and you get one of five options you can save it under so I'm just going to save it under number five and we want to leave apply overclocking at system startup unchecked because if you go too far with your overclock when it restarts it will just reset all the settings back to normal and you won't have any issues booting up so now let's open the heaven benchmark okay let's just put it on the extreme profile and click run. Now leave this running for about 30 minutes and that should give you a good idea whether it's a stable overclock or not. Okay if it's been running for 30 minutes and it's still working fine then close it down and we'll try and tweak up the overclock. So go back into MSI Afterburner and just increase the core clock by about 10 MHz each time and keep running the heaven benchmark test for about half an hour every time you increase the overclock. Do this until you start getting some artifacting inside the benchmark application. Now I'm going to tweak this up quite a large amount up to an overclock of 150 MHz and launch heaven benchmark just to show you what kind of artifacting you need to look out for. And as you can see, we have artifacting appearing all over the place, with these blue streaks slashing across the image. Now this was an extreme case, so yours shouldn't look like this. What you need to look out for is artifacting appearing every one or two seconds. That will let you know your overclock has gone a little bit too far, and you just need to dial it back a bit. Once you're happy with the overclock you've got, leave the Heaven Benchmark running for a couple of hours, just to stress test it as much as possible, so you know you've got a completely stable overclock. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful, and if you liked it, like it, if you dislike it, leave a comment below. I have lots more video ideas coming up so don't forget to subscribe.